Hey everybody, thanks a lot for coming into my kitchen. I am Jill and this is Jill for today. I am making a vegan meatloaf and I'm going to be using like my package here. I'm going to be using the Impossible Burger. We love it. This is we think this is fab and I've not made a uh, meatloaf yet with it. So I said, why not? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make a meatloaf. And I have a bowl here with some uh, Impossible Burger in it. So if the director wants to bring it down. Okay, I have two packages here and each package is 12 ounces. So that's, that's 24 ounces. And in here I have uh, some panko. There's my oven. It is set, my oven is set at 400 degrees. Here is some panko bread crumbs with some milk. Uh, this is soy milk, unflavored, unsweetened soy milk. That's going to help bind that up. But I'm also going to add a little bit of flax, which is also going to help it bind. And now I'm going to add some salt. And this really, I'm doing this just like the normal meatloaf I normally make um, before we went plant-based. That's about a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then I have, oh, about a half a teaspoon of Italian mixed herbs. Now I also have some fresh uh, fresh thyme, which I'm going to also put a little bit of that in there because I don't want to have it not be used. I'm going to put a little of that in there. Now of course all of these items you can say I don't like oregano or I don't like thyme, you know, you don't like garlic, all of those things you don't need to put in. This is some dehydrated onion flakes. Uh, you could use onion powder, but I had these and I thought it might give it uh, a little more, um, you know, more of an onion texture. This is not going to cook as long as a normal meatloaf, so I didn't want to put raw onions in there uh, because I didn't think they would cook properly. And here I've got some garlic, which is about a cl ooh, heavy clove, big clove. And I'm going to set this aside here. And then I've got my pepper I put in there. Yep. And now I've got some parsley flakes. If you had fresh parsley, that would be great. This is dehydrated, and I would say that's a tablespoon. And then I have some Worcestershire sauce. This is a great brand. This is the Portland Worcestershire uh, brand, and it's uh, vegan, and it actually it's quite good. It's got a nice flavor. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon or so of that in there. Give it a nice earthy taste. Then I've got some ketchup and I'm going to put a good healthy squeeze, oh a couple of tablespoons probably of that. And I think I got everything in there, I do believe. So I have some um, gloves here because you know for me you just have to get in there and you have to mush it. You just can't not mush it. So I'm going to start working this and once I have it totally combined I'll bring you back. So I have got this all nicely mixed up as you can see and I am bringing in a bake pan. This is not the 9x13. This is the, maybe this is 9x13. And I'm going to put it in there and I'm getting lazy in my old age and I didn't want to sit there and have to clean this pan after I was done making a meatloaf in it. So I lined it with aluminum foil. Parchment paper would also work. So I'm just now going to shape it. Let me get my bowl out of the way here. I'm going to shape it just as I normally would a meatloaf. And it's coming, it's just holding together beautifully. I think this is going to be a wonderful experience here. All right, that looks very good and I'm about ready to put that in the oven. All right, I'm putting this into a, my 400 degree preheated oven, about the center of the, of the oven, and I'm going to let it cook about 30 minutes. I think I'm going to let it cook 40 minutes. And then I'm going to bring it out and I'm going to put some ketchup on the top of it, kind of a ketchup glaze. We're not the sweet glaze kind of people, but a little ketchup is always good. Then it will go back in the oven for probably another 15 minutes. But what you know, we need to make sure is that that internal temperature is 160 degrees. And I will take uh, my thermometer and, and check it out. So. Uh, once we are done with this and the ketchup is on and we are ready to take a sample, we will be back. Wow, this is looking really, really good. This has been cooking about uh, 50 minutes. Um, when I looked at it at 40 minutes, it was not 
anywhere near done. So this is about 100 and, oh, 158, 160 degrees right now, and that's, that's fine. I want to make sure it's well done. So I'm just putting some, uh, just some ketchup on here. You know, ketchup does tend to be sweet, so uh, we don't feel we need to do a, a brown sugar or a barbecue sauce type of a glaze. So I'm going to put this back in the oven for about 15 minutes. I did reduce my temperature to 350 degrees. I'm going to go back in the oven for about 15 minutes, bring it out, and we are going to take a sample. Cannot wait. Well, we're ready to cut into this puppy, so let's see how it goes. Feels like a meatloaf. Oh, nice. Ooh. Cut another slice just to. And. That's a for you. It looks like a meatloaf. Here it is. This is just beautiful. It does look like a meatloaf. And it smells like a meatloaf. It does smell righteous. Okay, we're going to take a sample of this right now. All right. All right. What's happening? I'm just going to get us in focus there. Okay. All right, go ahead. Oh, now, wait a second. I would have thought you would have taken that the end piece because piece, that's kind of a man's piece, isn't it? Isn't it? It's a manly piece. <laughs> Go ahead and tell me what you think oh. of that. It looks pretty good. It does. It smells wonderful. Well, how did we do? Honestly, how did we do? That's a fine meatloaf. Is it? Oh, okay. Mm. Let me take a taste of it. It looks wonderful. It mm. really does. Mm hmm. Can't get it off there. Okay. Yeah. It's meatloaf. Mm. It's meatloaf. Mm. Mm. Wow. Very good. Mm -hmm. I can see a meatloaf sandwich in my It's future. wonderful texture. I had to move this out mm. a little bit. Where? And taste it's that. moist. Mm -hmm. Very. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, I'll tell you what we're doing. If we're doing a little power cooking, as we call it, making up several different kinds of meals and I've got, no, I should have brought some out. These nifty uh, containers, I'll show them to you next time we do some cooking. And we're going to slice some of this meat uh, loaf up, put it in those for individual meals. And I'm going to be doing some power eating. And we're going to freeze it. <laughs> anyway, so please give this a try. I'll give you the recipe down below. I kind of freestyle when I am cooking stuff like this, but I have a pretty good idea of how much I put of what in. And He's still eating. Want a bite. No, go ahead. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you will tell your friends about this channel and this recipe. Check out my Amazon store, and I hope you subscribe because I know you're going to really like it here. All right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, everybody. Take care. Bye -bye. See you soon. Bye bye.